Hello guys, my name is Pershing and today I will be doing the first video of the tutorial series on the gem editor that is requested by the Discord community on Mighty Mapper's channel. So today we will be doing polygons. So polygons are in F2, it can be only be made in F2. And if you turn on wireframe, you can see the polygons. So in this map, this was a previous map I just deleted just to show you, but see how there's different uh, wireframes. These are called wireframes. And the fact that they're different is for different levels of detail. And the polygons represent what makes up the, each little part of the map. So right now, this is level zero. As you can see, if I paste down and left click, I'm left clicking right now, nothing will happen because I am at level zero. Let's say I want to make a detailed trench. And let's say I will go to level 3 or 4, either one, uh, it doesn't really matter. The only thing is that if you put too much detail, like this is only for trenches. So if your whole map was like this, for example, then you would have less, uh, less better performance. The FPS wouldn't be as good as, as uh, let's say, the map was like this. So make sure when you're using the polygon at level 3 or 4 or 5, it's only selective and only for detailed areas. So that, today we're going to be making a little trench and a winter map. So um, this is where I'm going to outline my trench. Uh, let's say it's just a little line and maybe some like little side uh, trenches coming off of it. So now if you go into heights, this will show you how this is works. So let's see, right here is where it is. So if we go into height, let's say I want to fix height of negative 20, or actually for a trench it would be negative 10. If you go over here, you can see how it goes in these little squares. But let's say, let me just look at the polygons, okay. So I just went, if you look at the polygons, you can see how it goes to the square-like. It's this very square-like. If I go over here and do it, Look at, look at the level of detail. That is, it's very sharp and precise. So you can make very detailed trenches this way. So let's just go with this. And one thing to note is that when you're making trenches, make sure you smooth it out by holding shift and pressing down. That smooths out the uh, entrances to the trench. And so to make it look realistic, you do not want to smooth this part out because we want to put the sandbags there we will smooth it out afterwards. So let's actually make some te uh, textures here. We'll use this texture. Signify that this is trench ground. Okay, so now this is like a little dirt patch. So and it looks like you know people walk through it and people dig into the ground. So now I will grab my sandbags change the text mod here to winter so winter so it looks a little with the environment so now you want to go here and now for this okay depends if you want them to stand up or if you want them to sit so here this is like if they want them to sit and shoot over now if I want them to stand put this one a little lower and put this one above it like this so this will make a standing trench and we can just copy and paste it make sure you blend in the sandbag so it looks a little more like a trench let's finish up here Now we're just going to fix up the details, make it nice and neat. Okay, so now we will use the smoothing tool. Now, this will make it a little more natural to the land. So these are the kind of things you can use polygons for, especially for detailed work like this. So see how there's a little lip here? 
can also the land up very precisely. See how precise that is? This is only with a level 3, 4, and 5 polygon. Can't do this with any other type of polygons. So this is just to make the uh, trench have a more uh, realistic feel. Now we're gonna smooth it out. So now it just looks like they dug a little bit in. And there we go. We have just made a trench using the polygons. Now another thing to note is textures. With textures, textures are not as precise. See how precise that is when I, it's very quick and precise. But let's say I go over here. It's very scattery. That's because it goes by the polygons. Well, each of these polygons represents a piece of land that the texture will go to. So if I go over here, and now let's say I change the polygon to this, you see how it changes the uh, texture? Now it's a lot more blended in, and it looks more natural. So there's many uses for polygons, uh, detailed textures, uh, trenches, and yeah, I mean those are basically the two main uses, I can't think of any others at the moment, but oh, well especially heights with land, obviously, so you can make it very precise or very blocky, like this. Just to show you, if we go here. change 55 see how it's very it's very blocky here but if we go over here it's much more precise much more sharp and that's what we want when we want to make trenches so if we just uh, go back to here Polygons can also be used to add to a map's borders. So let's say you want to precisely add to the borders. Well, the same thing applies here at level 3 through 5. Offer that precise level of adding to a map, while level 0 is a more general blocky adding to the map. I usually use uh, level 0 because it's more straight and visually appealing than the level 3 and 4, but another that's another use for polygons is adding to your map. And you also want to make sure, that just for a player's perspective, that you make sure you keep it straight like this, as I'm doing right now, and get rid of those little extras. If you want to solve the corner issue, you simply just do this, and do that and it gets rid of the corner or it makes a corner a 90 degree angle which is what we want in a map like this. this is the end of the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions or you want me to do another video on polygons i can surely do that um if you would like me to do any other other things any other tutorials you can either post it on the discord on mighty mappers channel which i'll put a link to in the description or you can request a video in the comment section